devil is in the details, as they say. Hi, I'm Deborah Peters. There is so much going on in the world right now. I thought it would be really lovely to get a video out for you to enable you to free yourself from the mayhem, the fear, the doubt, and to actually shift your mindset into a higher level of functionality and focus. And I suppose this is probably a very useful tool, even if we don't have some kind of crisis going on globally, but maybe there's just a crisis going on in your company or in your mind, which is where it all starts and stops, right? So here I want to introduce you to a concept that I call chunking. So whenever you go into a negotiation or a presentation or a meeting where you're looking to get your point of view across, my recommendation to you is to really find out who is at the table and how they take in energy and how they take in information. And it could be something as simple as asking the question, would you like to have the details first or would you prefer that I give you the big picture and then we can talk about the details later? And they will just tell you. The same thing goes with how you run your mind. So with everything that's going on in the world right now, or maybe you're just having your own crisis and the world's not in crisis, what you want to do is you want to look at how you're actually running your mind in relationship to the chunks of information that are flowing through your thought process. So what that looks like is this. If you find yourself in overwhelm, typically what's happening is you are focusing far too much on the details. You're getting more and more and more chunked down into smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller details to the point where you're actually fixated on a single detail or a set of single details and they're controlling your ability or they're blocking your ability to manage your own mental and emotional state. So when this happens, the best thing you can do is start to chunk up your focus. Take it to a bigger thought process or a broader point of view or a bigger scope of vision. And when you do this, it enables you to get out of that sense of overwhelm and to actually get into a bigger picture. Some people call it a 30,000 foot view. That's where you're really starting to look at things from a bigger point of view, from a broader perspective and you know, from a bigger vision. When you do that, then the little minute details don't pull you in and hold you hostage. I'm going to give you a metaphor for how this works so you can actually put it into real life practice. So I remember back many years ago when my mother was buying her first house in the city. We grew up on a farm and my mom decided to keep the farm after my dad died when I was a little girl and she decided to, to run it as a business herself. So about 15 years passed and she decided to move into the city and sell the farm. She had a couple of rentals, gave her a chance to sort of figure out what part of the city that she wanted to live in. And then she decided that she, what she really wanted was to own a nice big home where all of us as a family could come together for holidays. And this home had to sit on the edge of the coulee so no one could build behind her, so she could have this view of this expansive landscape. And there was a coulee and there was a creek and there was cows and you know, it was like literally right on the edge of the city. So she bought this really beautiful home and then it started to become about the details. So now going from this big, beautiful home concept now we're getting stuck in the details and the detail in this particular case was there was a chandelier 
that was hanging in the dining room when she toured the house. And I believe the realtor had told her that it came with the property. But when she moved in, the chandelier was gone. So suddenly, instead of being able to see this big, beautiful home that she is, it was her dream home that she was able to purchase in the perfect spot where no one could build behind her and she would have acres and acres and acres of open expanse of land to look at, including some guy's cows, so she could have like that little piece of farm still in the backyard, so to speak. That was lost. That vision got lost and all she could see was this missing chandelier from the ceiling in the dining room and the whole thing escalated completely out of control and turned into a lawsuit. It, it, it consumed her. It's all she thought about every single day. And I think I'm probably describing parts of you where you lose sight of the beauty of your life. You lose sight of the appreciation that you're living in a nice place, that you have a roof over your head, that, that you can look up into the sky and you can see the beautiful blue and the, and the fluffy white clouds. And even if you're in a cold climate and it's raining right now, that the rain is coming down and it's washing the streets or it's cleansing the land. The birds are chirping, that it's a breath you're taking every single moment. So we have a tendency to get stuck in what's not working instead of being dialed into the grace, the blessings, the joy and just the very nature that here you are, you're on the planet, you're a gift, you are creation, you are generating energy and ideas and you're contributing to the greatness of all that is just by being you, just by being you, just by it's not anything that you do, it's just being you. And so if you're finding yourself going into any sort of fear, doubt, doom, gloom, thinking, any sort of sense of loss, lack, scarcity thinking, please take a moment and lift yourself up and that might mean you literally physically lift yourself up and you stretch and you breathe deep and you reach your arms to the sky and you just simply say thank you thank you so much for this day thank you so much for me being me thank you for this life thank you for this opportunity to be alive and to contribute and put a smile on your face, put a smile on your face and say out loud, you know, I appreciate myself. I appreciate being alive. I appreciate the growth. I appreciate the opportunity to contribute to all that is by being, by being. You see, what we're being taught right now is that it's not the doing, it's not the doing that makes a difference. It's who you're being. And if you're being high energy of hope, of faith, of trust, of love, of self-love, of a high rate of vibration of knowing that everything is always working out for you and that you are creating and generating and bringing to life your ideas and your thoughts and your creations and that when you start doing, the doing will come from a higher place, then you can't possibly focus 
on the negativity. You can't possibly focus on what's not working because everything is working. Everything is working. In nature, everything is always working. There is a cycle to life. And so as the wheel moves, the wheel is down, the wheel is up. The wheel is down, the wheel is up. And so if you're finding yourself riding the outside of that wheel and getting into the down and staying in the down, then jump into the hub of the wheel. Be the eye of the storm, be in the center, be in the calmness, be in the resoluteness of knowing that all is well. And just talk to yourself like that. Just talk to yourself like that. All is well. Everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for all of us. We are evolving. We are expanding. We are greatness. We are choosing greatness. We are creation. We are creating. We are generating, allowing, and receiving joy, health, wealth, abundance, happiness. Talk to yourself like that. Get yourself up out of those small details of the wrongness and get yourself up into the higher vibration of love and appreciation. It's beyond gratitude. It's in appreciation. It's in love. And when you stay in that place and you marry your head with your heart, you will thrive. Your business will thrive, even in the most challenging of all circumstances. So thank you for joining me and liking and subscribing and sharing. Get this out to all your friends. So share the message. Love you guys. Take care.